Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Bobby. It's just now daylight. It's going to be a beautiful day, and I'm looking forward to a full day of golf lessons. I want to talk about the magic, and it truly is magic for those who are deficient in this particular lesson of the weight shift. And let's, let's talk about the weight shift for just a moment and what it is. Well, to get an idea of why the weight shift is so important, exactly what it is, I'm going to put two golf balls here in front of me, and I uh, suggest that you the, perform the same experiment. One's opposite my left foot, the other my right, and I'm going to put my club right in the middle in a way that's more or less ordinary to all of us. Now, here's what I'll do. I'm going to, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to make a golf swing at an effort level of, say, 7. Not all out, just an effort level of 7 on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to start this club right in the center, but when I return and hit the ground, I'm going to hit the ground back here by this first ball. Effort level of 7. All right, observe the results. Here's what I'm gonna do second. I'm gonna go ahead and start here again, but this time I'm gonna bottom out by that front ball. And effort level of seven. There is no doubt in anybody's mind, even a casual observer walking by, that that second one uh, had a great deal more velocity, a lot more speed, even with the same effort level. And I, I suggest you conduct the same exact experiment. And why is that? Well, there's a universal law that says you can't hit anything powerfully that's behind you. And on this second one, first one, excuse me, because the ball was behind me, I had to move back to hit it. You can't hit anything powerfully that's behind you. You need to be, uh, be moving in the direction of the thing you intend to strike if you want to put any pop on it. And so when I was swinging to this front one, I had to shift my weight to do it. That provided the valuable assurance that I would shift my weight. I had to do that to bottom out over here. All right, so there's that. One to nothing in favor of the weight shift because it gives you more velocity. What's the next thing? Well, any student of the game knows that the more sophisticated ball striker hits the ball and then the ground. Well, as we've already demonstrated, you can only accomplish that with a weight shift. But the other thing that brings to the table right away, typically, is a shaft that's leaned to some degree left at the moment of impact. And so when you make a divot over here, because typically the divot happens below the hands at the moment of impact, the hands are left, so the divot's left, we know the weight is left, well, that makes this 9-iron stronger, more like an 8-iron. And so automatically, the club in your hand becomes stronger. The person deficient in this way, who tends to kind of hit back here, doesn't really ever take a divot, picks it clean, because they know if they hit ground, it'll be too early. Their shaft may be leaned back, actually, at the moment of impact. And now, instead of a 9-iron, that loft is, is moving more toward pitching wedge loft. And so the club actually becomes weaker. And so let me say that again. The first advantage of a weight shift is that it gives you more velocity. The second thing is it tends to strengthen the club in your hand because it allows for a downward strike, which gives you a little uh, de-lofting of the club. All right. Now, how do you know if you're deficient? Well, it's easy. Just videotape yourself face on, just this angle right here, and slow it down and capture the moment of impact. If you're flat-footed, you know, ask yourself, how much of my weight's on my front foot and my right foot? If it looks like 50-50, well, then you need the magic of the weight shift. And let me show you how to develop it. When it comes to learning anything, you've always got to reduce the size of the equation. And if you can, because if you can't do it small, then you can't do it on the big scale. And what I suggest you do is you start without a golf ball. And you say, okay, when this club gets down to the hitting area, I want to feel like this foot is almost completely off the ground because my weight's here. Really in the same fashion as if I were going to skip a rock. Look, there's no, there's no need for this. I don't get any benefit by having this thing still on the ground. It can be completely empty. And that's what the back foot does. It doesn't push off. It empties. Well, that's what I want to do here. I want to take this little practice wing and feel like there's nothing on that left foot prior, uh, right at the moment of impact. Now, if I've done that, it's time to try it on a live round. See if I can make that same casual, forget any thoughts of power, we're still casual, uh, swing on the golf ball and empty that back foot prior to impact. All right, and it should be already on its arch by about the moment of impact. Now, what you'll find right away is that, that little bump I just hit with this nine iron went out there about 120 yards, and I barely swung at it. Not because I'm so great, but because I got my body mass into it. I, I shifted my weight first. All right, and you can do the same thing. Again, if I can do it casual, without a ball, I can do it with a ball, I can start to turn up the heat a little bit. All right, all the while making sure at the moment of impact this back foot is completely empty. Don't beat yourself over the head with other fundamentals at that moment in time. It's not time to also fixate on keeping your head down and your left arm straight and all these other things. Just take it back casually and try to empty that foot prior to impact. 
And then build and build and build and build. And don't, don't try it on 10 shots and then go play around to golf because it'll prove to be just simply ruinous. All right. And so that's what I'll say. First of all, you need a weight shift because it's going to give you velocity. It's going to make the club in your hand stronger. And also you need to learn it by starting small and building. And I know that will help you. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Thanks for watching.